Hi, sweetie. Check this out. Chicken wing. I love you. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey Austin, it's Matt Peterson with the Austin Daily Herald bringing you today's top headlines. Uh, simmering discontent with Lyle Public Schools boiled over at Monday night's school board meeting amidst heckling from an audience of more than 70. Board members adjourned the meeting and most left the room as another board member tried to speak. Much of the dissension relates to Principal and Superintendent James Dusso's tenure as Principal and Superintendent. The board's choice of Dusso as an administrator and its continued uh, support for him have angered community members who disagree with the Superintendent's management style. In other news, a 31-year-old Blooming Prairie man is in good condition after being ejected from his uh, roll, uh, rolled over vehicle Monday night according to St. Mary's Hospital staff. According to Steele County Sheriff Lon Teal, the man was traveling east on Steele County Road 15, about one mile west of 84th Avenue Southeast, when he overcorrected and rolled his vehicle three times. The man was ejected from the vehicle. Uh, there is no indication that alcohol was involved. The man was not wearing his seatbelt. His name has not been publicly released at this time. Well, let's take it to uh, today's weather on the roof with uh, reporter Jason Schoonover. Jason, what do we have going on outside? Thanks, Matt. More good weather continues this afternoon with bright sunny skies and a high near 69. But it may be time to dig out your fall jackets. Temps will be cooling off the rest of the week. An early frost is expected Wednesday night in much of the area. The freeze comes a few weeks ahead of normal, according to the National Weather Service. Tonight's low will be 45 and tomorrow's high will be 55. The low tomorrow will be just above freezing at 33. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Jason. Well, some bad news in uh, northern Minnesota. A forest fire ranging east of Ely is now uh, in excess of 60,000 acres after a wind-stoked day and night of massive expansion, a fire official said Tuesday morning. The fire has likely escaped the southern wilderness boundary toward the community of Isabella, where fire engines uh, from throughout the Iron Range are descending along with bulldozers and other equipment to try to stop the blaze. No injuries have been reported and no major structures have been burned, but with strong winds from the north, west and uh, north and northwest predicted for today and tomorrow, the fire is likely to continue to grow. And finally, in more local news, uh, high school and college students from across the nation are feeling the thrill of competition at the Maurer County Fairgrounds this week, uh, yet they're more likely to hear the squealing of a pig than a roaring crowd. It's the 65th National Barrow Show. Uh, it's in town this week, drawing 4-H'ers, FFA students, and agricultural fanatics from all corners of the U.S. to show their skills judging and raising big and little pigs. That's all we have for the Daily Herald today. Please check out the rest of our website for more local and exciting news. And thanks for watching.